Hi, Scott Gow here from Team Canada here at the Biathlon World Championships in Kontiolahti, uh, Finland. We're here for the World Championships races in, uh, oh wait, this is harder. So we're just heading out of the start now, out of the starting gate out on course. As you can see, lots of stands here. As we head out, it's nice and flat at the start which is nice for leaving the range. You can pick up a lot of speed. Oh, man. So here we come along the flat here. Pretty high speed spot. This is where everyone tends to train. And we're coming up here on our first climb. Probably the first, first of many for sure. Uh, steep little guy and can be pretty soft. <laughs> and once we worked our way over, we kind of turn around and now the big descent begins towards the bottom of the course. So up here, this is like one of the, this is one of the first big downhills we'll come across on the course. Very high speed, very technical, very fast. And then we come right back into our next climb. This one's not quite as bad. Uh, it's a longer kind of climb. It goes up and curves around to the right, but much more manageable than some of the latter ones. And we kind of turn around this bend here, and now you can see the top. So now we're hitting a quick plateau, a little bit of recovery if you're smart here, and then we're going to go into the last little rise before the top of this first climb. Let's work, work, work all the way to the top. And then you see the timing marker right there. Okay, we're finally at the summit of this one. Now we're gonna push over the hill. And now we've got another nice downhill to go into. So a little extra time for some nice recovery. Uh, nothing too technical yet again, so. So we'll just kind of rip along here. Gentle right corner. Then we're gonna go into a big, big 90 degree corner at the bottom here. Again, it's all really gentle. There's nothing too sharp on the course. So nice gentle curve, and it's gonna flatten out. And now we're at the very bottom of the course. So this is the low point. And from here, all the way back, it's gonna, we're gonna to have to climb all the way back to the top of the course to get back to the range. So up ahead is the first little pitch before we get into the big climb. Um, this one's also a little deceiving in its own way. It's it's short, but it's steep, and it's also on the soft side. So, if you're not if you're not gliding well or not too focused on your ski technique, it'll be pretty tricky. But it's over pretty quick, and then you have one last flat before you go into the monster climb. So you can get some nice high speed into here. On this two and a half kilometer course, you definitely want to try and push it a little bit because as you're about to find out, if you don't have enough speed, you're going to find yourself almost stopped at the bottom of this big climb and 
that's the last thing you want when you're trying to race uh, up this hill. So you try and come in with a decent pace here, and now we're getting right to the bottom of the climb. So this one is, you can probably see on the cameras, very long, very steep. Uh, it's a real grind all the way up to the top. They even have a rail camera here to to follow the pain on ev on all the athletes' faces. So this is the one point in the course where people need to uh, really be careful about what they're doing skiing-wise. You don't if you go too hard earlier in the course, you're not going to make it up this hill, and if you if you go too easy, you might not be going fast enough uh, for a good course time. So we're finally starting to get towards the top. If this was a race, your legs would be burning, you'd barely be breathing. At least that's how it would feel. Now you crest, and you have a quick little flat slash downhill section to really kind of relax, try and recover anything. But now we're back at the top part of the course. So we're on level with the range again. And so from here on out, it's going to be pretty flat. So we're going to hit this flat section, give us some good recovery time. The range is only a few hundred meters away, so it's important to take this time now to really make sure you're skiing relaxed, uh, clearing your, the lactic acid out of the legs after just coming up that big climb. Uh, there's this little bump again on the two-way bridge, but it doesn't take a lot of effort to come up and over. Now that's probably our last little downhill before uh, we go into the range here. We just have to go over one last uphill bridge. Again, this one not very challenging. Nice short little uphill. Okay, so now's the recovery part of the ski course. Now we're getting really close to the range. There's no more climbs, no more downhills. We're just going to glide it out, try and stay as relaxed, try and clear out any remaining lactic acid, get that heart rate down, and we're going to come up over a tiny, tiny rise. Won't even call it a hill. And then as we round the corner, we're basically in the range, as you can see. So we come around this corner, and then you got maybe 50 meters for you're going to be on lane 31. So now we're right approaching the range now. So as you can see, we're at lane 30. You can look out into the range. Beautiful range setup here. Um, nice level firing line. Mats are all perfectly placed. Uh, the range can be a little windy here. It's definitely a challenging aspect of the course or of the races here. Is the wind can be strong and very variable. So it's important to make sure you're looking at all those wind flags and know exactly what you're clicking with your sights. So now we'll leave the range, and hopefully everyone who stops in there is trying to hit five out of five. But if you didn't, you're gonna have to take a left into the penalty loop. Quick little penalty loop, like always, only 150 meters. Just rip around. You can still see everyone leaving the range as you're going around the penalty loop, so you kinda know where you are. So mo most athletes, if they're in here, hope they're only in here for one trip. And then as they do their one loop around, now they're going to exit. Try not to hit anyone trying to come in at the same time. And then now we're kind of at the end of the course, and we're going to 180 and go right back out to where we were at the very start. So now we've concluded a one loop of the 2.5 kilometer of the 2.5 kilometer race loop here in Contiolati. And now we're right back where we started.